Hello everybody, this is Wizwar100, you're the viewers, and I'm the Let's Player. Well, I was given I was talking with my friend Many Ninjas about games we could have played on Steam, and he gifted me this game, Curse and Chaos, that we played on multiplayer, which I will also show footage of. Of us playing through it for my first time too, and his with some experience. And well, I realized that what if I was gonna upload it as an LP on on uh, the internet I <laughs> on the internet I realized I did not have the first level recorded because I played it and he played it too so that's what I'm gonna do <sighs> Cursing Chaos is a beat-em-up game by Tribute Games I believe these are the same people who made Wizorb which I absolutely hated but this game is much much better it's a lot of fun and I did play a uh, couple of rounds. I'm, I think I'm like eight, nine levels in. Uh, so let's just get around to playing. You get two characters that I forget their who their names are. It says so in the intro, but I didn't pay too much attention. One of them was Leo. But I'm going to pick her and we're going to play the forest area. Very ninja guided music and graphics that are very much in the style of... Uh, that make me think of Cave Story. Anyway, so this game is a beat em up. Well, actually, I'm, I'm still wondering whether to call it that, but I would say it's a beat em up. It's a beat em up where you fight uh, waves and waves of enemies. Waves and waves of enemies trying to get to the. trying to reach the end of it where you fight a boss. And that's, well, that's generally the case. The game does change up where you fight different enemies and different variations of the enemies. And you're supposed to find the elixir, which will help uh, save our heroes. Because they're placed under a curse where death follows them everywhere and enemies follow them everywhere. So that's why they, they're always fighting, like, swarms of enemies. So they're trying to find materials and stuff to make this elixir to cure them, so there's like, there's a replay value right there where you just... Uh, that's the reason for the, for the grind. Which is kind of interesting, there's a mixing items aspect to it, which... Which warrants a play, and I just got hit right there, I was trying to build up a chain that would give me, uh... More points, which would supposedly give you... Which would give you more money, actually. And you need- and you want that money so you can buy stuff from the shops. Uh, you don't have that many attacks to- to do. Well, you do. You gotta... Well, they're very basic. I'll, I'll just say that. And very simple. And this game is quite a lot of fun, I must say. Because I was playing with many ninjas, and playing it multiplayer is the best way to experience this game. But, and single player wise, it's not bad either, but definitely highly recommend playing in multiplayer. And I'm about to die here, so. Yeah, as you notice, I'm getting items and. Fuck! Fuck the frogs and stuff. I, I had an item stored on the bottom right by a friend, uh, Ali, Oliver. It's an owl that's named uh, Oliver, but obviously we'll have a play on words. And quite helpful if sometimes uh, confusing and annoying. I might need to pl replay this level again just just to get the uh, points because I did not have that much. Uh, I did not have that much coins when I was playing. Uh, like just before I recorded this, because I spent most of it at the uh, shop buying stuff to combine. Oh, and there, that was that was the arrow item, which, uh, is kind of use- kind of useless, because it doesn't- it's- it doesn't hit consistently. Right here, I'm juggling items so that- or at least I tried to juggle items so I can, uh, keep them on screen as long as possible. And you see me doing the jump kick, which does two damage, and is definitely the best way to handle most of the enemies that you fight. Because your regular punches only do one damage, which makes me wonder why you would ever use that. Eat that up. Oh. 
Well, that was better than nothing. Blasting them with the bombs. There's a couple of items that you can find, and they introduce more as uh, you as you go far further in the game. And are you serious? I got hit by the ghost. Hit detection in this game is just a little. Sometimes it's quite iffy, and sometimes it's really forgiving. It's, uh, it's. I wouldn't say inconsistent, but sometimes it's inconsistent. Oh, right, I forgot. You can dance if you hold down the uh, down button, which doesn't let you uh, crouch down or, you know, get low so that you can... So that you can dodge any attacks that might could potentially go over your head and be serious. This game can be frustrating, but 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 not in the not in like the whole the the really big frustrating moments of it. Just when you're trying to do stuff like keep that combo going so you can get a lot of coins. Cause I I don't know if you rolled back the video, I only had 220 coins. Yeah, that's how much I had because I wasn't able to buy the meat or the items I wanted. And then it jumped all the way to. Wow, look, it jumped all the way into the five digit range. So definitely comboing is very, or having chains is very important. Every 10 chains you get, you get a point multiplier. Unless you have the, um, unless you have the uh, clover, which permanently gives you multiplier bonuses within that round. Quite helpful, I must say. Arta. That's so stupid. That was double stupid. I also don't like the fact that you don't, you you uh take a while to get up. Okay, that was the clover I was talking about, which gives you double the points, and you can never lose it un unless you die, I believe. Stupid, stupid, stupid. I then you have stupid stuff like that, where it's like I didn't mean to use that item, but you end up using it. There's no down down attack, which was which I would have liked actually some directional attacks that you can do. Oh yeah, another thing that's a little bit subtle that you might not notice is if uh, when you grab items they they um they bounce towards the center, which is very very helpful. That was quite wasted trying to hit that crow. Would have been better used on that skeleton. You also do have an uppercut, so you don't have to always keep jumping, so at least they thought of that. But, I would still say this game is a lot of fun, otherwise I would not be playing it. Oh, it, it has its good moments, and then it has its, like, really bad moments. Like that. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Really should have a down tech. I really should have just uppercut it there. Yeah, as you can see, the punches are not that good. And man, I'm screwing up. Ah, I would. I didn't even realize I had a cannonball. Come on. Why didn't you uppercut? God damn it. Yeah, there's the owl I was talking about where he can, or I don't know if it's a he, but I'll just say it. Say, uh, Owly just holds on the item for you, which is very, very helpful. Definitely appreciate him helping there. I want to do my coin values double, actually. I'm not sure. I don't think it does double. Or does it? Nope, it doesn't. Bra bronze coins will give you a five coin or five coins worth. And the blue ones uh, will give you ten, which is what I've gotten so far. And then there are the gems. Actually, are the crab apple or are the Skull's actually appearing in this level now? 
Because I don't quite recall uh, them popping up. I don't recall them popping up when uh, I first played it, just to get used to and get the hang of it. But either way, still try and do the uh, do the comboing and take care of the enemies that are the easiest to take care of. Like the birds. So that you can easily get the uh, much, much better, the better score. And also, pay attention, that's, that's another thing. Six points, that's the highest I've gotten so far. Oh, you s- uh, what the fuck? Just some moments. Oh yeah, that timer, if you let it run out, you do not instantly die, but... Someone does make a visit. Oh hey, three chains. Yep, here comes the boss fight, and it's... Well, if you didn't get it already, based on the lantern thing floating around, it's a ghost fight. Isn't he funny? This, this guy's pretty easy, but the game does, like... It does get, like, hard, like, immediately after two, where you fight another type of boss. That makes me wonder. Couldn't I just, like grind on these ghosts for a while and then just keep getting points because they'll keep spitting them out and they give you a time limit or they give you hourglasses so that uh, you would not run out of time and then get killed by death because you know maybe I took too long to fight them or something but I won't waste your time too much on that like if I'm gonna grind I'll grind on my own time Most of the fights end up with just kicking them in the face a lot, or behind their faces anyways. You don't want to do it in a later boss fight where you... There's one boss fight that's ki that's kind of like this ghost, but there's two of them. And they can sure double team you from both sides. I've... It's happened. And it and it's not very nice. Don't, don't get double teamed. And there's a that's, and that's the first level. I'm gonna shake my, shake my ass. So now that that's done, I'll show you the shop. The shop you you buy stuff, which, like I said, is used to. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, buy a few things. Now let's buy some meat. Buy some clothes. Yeah, they cost a lot, so that's also another thing. So. Hmm. I'll buy two of each to see what combinations I'd get. And you can see my money's already almost pretty much gone. Uh, much like it is in real life. Equip, this is where you can equip them with several items that you can uh, get. I'm going to equip that. So if you mix items, you get certain other items. Such as that. I swore I had more potions in that. So you gotta experiment. Ooh. Also, that's what you get a horseshoe. You get a boomerang from a fat. Catapult? Okay. Oh! That's a terrible weapon. You get bombs from that? Makes no sense. Okay, this one, that one made a little bit more sense. You get another catapult. So basically, you're trying to find out what combinations will lead to the elixir. Or the elixir, but obviously you can look on online for that. And right there, I just wasted some items, which turned out to be crap. And you don't want stuff turning into crap, although I'd imagine there's a thing where you can combine the crap with something else to make something else along with it. They don't quite give you the... They don't quite give you the list of what you've already made. Ooh, wait. An axe and boomerang make a ring? What does this do? Force ring. I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, if you don't care for this part, I suppose you can just look up... 
I suppose you can just look up a guide and just like see like oh what combinations do wood and so forth. Oh a lucky cat. <laughs> oh that's such a waste. Damn it. Oh yeah, here it tells you what it does. Punch travels farther. Really? Actually, I'm kind of curious on that, so I'll save that for later. But yeah, that's Curse and Chaos. Expect to see more where, uh, for the next couple of videos, it's me playing with many ninjas as we try and beat the game. So with that said, you're the viewers and I'm the Let's Player. Sorry for the weird, iffy-affy voice. Just haven't been doing this stuff for a while. Kind of need to get back into the groove. So, see.